Hey Wampers, we are happy to announce the addition of a highly requested feature in our latest update, the text tool. Now you can easily bring type to 3D with multiple font settings and more. It is now available to all of you and in this video I'll walk you through exactly how it works and what you can do with it. So let's get started. In the top bar of our interface, we can now find the new text tool within the primitive menu. You will notice that the text appears as a shape in the scene list and can be grouped with or subtracted from just like any other primitive. The default text will say Hello Womp, but you can change the text to anything you want in the properties menu on the right side of the screen. Here we also have a bunch of different customization options like changing the font, size of the text, spacing of the letters, or change the text type from regular to light, medium, bold, italic. There are so many more options for you to play around with. You can, for example, also change the text thickness to make it very flat looking. It's also very cool. Or you can even type full on sentences. Let's just write, Womp is the easiest 3D software ever. And now it's a bit long, but we can break the sentence just going in there, pressing enter. Now the second half is going down and we can also change the line height here. Let's make it a bit closer to the upper part, maybe even a bit more. And I think that looks great. Motion tracked 3D text in the scene just looks so satisfying to me. When you're using your font, you will see a button saying upload a font. This is a feature for pro users, allowing you to easily import custom fonts, giving you full control over creating texts the way you want them to be. Google has a huge variety of open source fonts that will be supported in WAMP. Our recent Super Unions update will also allow you to easily wrap your text around a shape using Intersect. Here are some examples on how we use the text in combination with Intersect on this cup here. You are also able to use materials on a text just the same as with normal primitives. Using stain, we can even create some lovely looking gradients as displayed in this beautiful looking Easy 3D logo. This and so much more will be possible with this new update, so we can't wait to see how you guys will be using that. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.